hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this quick video i'm going to show you guys how you can enable usb debugging on a broken android screen i'm going to be using samsung note 8 to demonstrate this process all right so this method does not actually work for all samsung phones out there so this works for those samsung phone that is compatible with samsung desktop experience so if your phone doesn't support this desktop experience just know that this process and this connection is not going to work on your samsung phone all right so whether the phone is not responding to touch or whether the phone is locked or is not locked in this video i'm going to walk you guys through on how to enable usb debugging on that broken phone all right so with that being said guys let's jump straight into the video guys All right, guys, so what we need here now is a monitor that supports a HDMI input. So this is the HDMI. I've connected the HDMI cable at the back of the monitor. All right. And then secondly, we need a type C to HDMI conversion cable, just like the one that I have here. So this is a direct plug and play conversion cable. So you don't need to install any app on the phone for this to work. So let's go ahead and then I'll bring up the conversion cable, guys. So this is how it looks. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and then connect the HDMI. Then I'll connect the other end to the phone. All right, guys, so the next thing I'm going to do here now is to unlock the phone. All right, so once the phone is unlocked, then I'll go to settings. Now let's go and enable the USB debugging. So I'm going to go to settings now and then I'll scroll down to about phone. Then I'm going to go to software information. All right. So I'm going to click on the build number seven complete times. I'll click on the build number seven complete times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll draw in my pattern to confirm. All right, guys. So now we have enabled developer option so i'll go back i'll go back and then i'll scroll down to developer option so here i will scroll down to enable usb debugging all right so that's usb debugging guys click on ok to confirm all right guys so we have successfully enable usb debugging on this android phone here so guys i know you may ask what if the touch part of the phone is not working the touch is not responding so how are you going to go to settings to enable usb debugging so in that case guys what you're going to need is another conversion cable here so which will actually enable you to plug in a usb mouse on the conversion cable and you now use it to control the screen of your android phone so this is a type c to hdmi output with a 3.0 usb port and it also supports a type c charging input which can actually plug to charging your phone when you are mirroring the screen of your phone to the monitor so this is what you are going to need in that case so i'm going to go ahead and then plug it guys so let's see how it works i'll plug it and then i'll plug the hdmi plug the hdmi and then i'll connect the usb mouse So guys i've connected the usb mouse here so i can now control the screen with the mouse which we just connected all right guys so as you can see so i'll go to settings i'll repeat the same process i'll repeat the same process here i'll scroll down click on about phone go to software information click on these several computers and draw in my pattern I'll go back and I'll click on this. All right, guys. So, guys, as you can see here, we have successfully enabled USB debugging on a broken Android screen. So, that is a quick one how to enable USB debugging on a broken 
Android screen. Just like I said, this process does not work for all Samsung phones. It works for those Samsung phones that support Samsung desktop experience. So guys, that is the quick one how to do this. If you find the video interesting, I would like you to give the video a thumbs up. If you are yet to subscribe to the channel, if today is your first time of watching my video here, I would like you to subscribe to the channel and also drop down a comment in the comment section. Let me know which of these actually worked for your phone and if you are able to enable USB debugging on your Android phone, all right? So with that being said, guys, catch you guys in the very next video. Bye for now.